that end, I have received roughly 700 hours of professional firearms training over the past several years. About 100 hours of that has been shotgun specific training, including classes with Rob Hot, Daryl Bolke, Randy Kane, Tim Chandler, Ashton Ray, and the Range Master Shotgun Instructor course with Tom Givens. Come on now, a logic fallacy, really? Like, is this eighth grade debate class again? You might as well have just said, my shotgun information is credible because potato. Or my shotgun information is credible because I have a big dark beard. The fact of the matter is, a person either does or does not know shotguns. It's a sink or swim thing. They're either good with them or they're not. Because of how intimidating they are with the recoil, the loud noise, how big and heavy they are, people either like them or they don't. They get really good with them or they are not. I actually discovered your channel because I don't have credentials. So when I say something, I like to have it backed up by somebody that does. And I stumbled across it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is awesome. And then I'll roll in a little clip of that person saying ex exactly what I'm saying. But the point is, no matter what credentials you got or how much you've trained or whatever, if you throw that out as the argument why your information is credible, somebody else could be like, well, I have double that amount of hours and you're wrong. I've watched a lot of your videos and I overwhelmingly agree with what you say. Normally at the end of your video, I'm like, preach on preacher. The only stuff I ever seem to disagree with you on is the actual shotgun setup. I like my shotgun simplistic, smooth, high speed, as light as possible. You seem to lean more towards like Technically advanced, pistol grip, adjustable stock, crazy sights. And for whatever reason, that's your preference. There's nothing wrong with the technique or anything that I disagree with. It's just the preference of the shotgun. I actually use mine for hunting, which really juices up your adrenaline. And it's all surprise. It's not like, okay, he's going to blow the whistle, and then I got to shoot those four static targets as fast as I can. No, you're just walking through the woods, and all of a sudden, your game pops out, and you have like, a half a second, second to react to it. And without a doubt, I'm faster with a bead sight. I actually own ghost ring sight shotguns and I've tried doing the same job I can do with a bead sight and a lot of times they fall short. They're not slower by much, but sometimes it's just enough, especially with your adrenaline pumping. So that's why I prefer my shotguns configured that way because I figured if I got that much adrenaline pumping then and I make those types of stupid mistakes then, an actual home invasion or self-defense scenario, I gotta assume my adrenaline's gonna be pumping a lot more. So I'm gonna want it simple. Just as easy as can be. But anyway, this video isn't really to pick on you, it's actually to promote your channel. All of my viewers should definitely go over and subscribe there. Guy's got really solid info. He goes into it as a scientific approach. I really like how he puts his videos together. The editing is just phenomenal high production quality, it's worth looking into and uh, giving them a chance. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you can click right here. If you'd like to check out any of my other videos, you can click right there. Or I got my Patreon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.